The FDNY descended on Fire Island today. The Suffolk County Barrier Island is not in the city, of course, but as CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff tells us, the island was transformed into a training ground to make sure everyone is safer the next time a hurricane hits. We'll try and keep them all in uh, one spot. Imagine a Category 4 hurricane has slammed into Fire Island. There's widespread damage, severe flooding that's breached the island. Residents are stranded. Rescue boats are needed, canine teams to search for missing victims, injuries to be treated. Stitches, broken bones, broken teeth, glass impalements. It looks real, but this is actually a full-scale exercise of the highly trained FDNY Special Operations Command preparing for the worst. Medivac flights, simulated victims pinned. Just like we had in New York on 9-11 where we had people come in from around the country to help us. Uh, when there are large-scale disasters, we go around and, and help, uh, you know, help those that need it. It's vital training for disaster response. In this case, the possibility that Suffolk County is inundated with the need for backup. The FDNY SOC task force is made up of firefighters with expertise they've offered around the nation. We're like the Swiss Army knife. We do hazmat. We do search and rescue. We do medical. Uh, we have canines now. We got a drone unit going out there, so we can do it all. In reality, Long Island's never had a Category Four direct hit, but it has come close with a Category Three. And with hurricane season weeks away and extreme weather striking more often, this sort of simulation can quickly morph into a real-world emergency. The four-day exercise is based at Robert Moses Beach, where 60 FDNY members rapidly set up a small, self-sufficient city that can operate for days, making residents feel oh. safe. Yes, that at least somebody could come and get us out of here if we were trapped. And that they're training so they're going to know what they're doing. Yeah. Because no one knows when training will be put to a real-life test. On Fire Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.